Okay, so let's draw our memorized graph. So we have our points and we have our graph. Close to the asymptote, through the point, close to the asymptote, close to the asymptote, through the point, close to the asymptote. I'm actually going to draw in my asymptotes, vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. If you're using pencil, extend the dotted line past so you can actually see it on your page. So that is our function y equals 1 over x. We spent a lot of time working on that graph earlier and then we did transformations of that graph. So for example, what if we say y equals 2 over x and we want to graph that one? Well, we can graph it with the table of values etc. But let's use transformation. So how did this happen? How did this 2 come here? Well, the function was actually y equals 1 over x. And then we took y and we substituted 1 half y in for y. So 1 over 2, y equals 1 over x. Then we times both sides by 2, and we get the function y equals 2 over x. And if we put 1 half y in for y from transformations, we're substituting the opposite operation for the variable. So if we put 1 half y in for y, that's actually a vertical expansion equal to two. So we can simply take our old points on our old graph and the old y value is one and if I take the y value and I do a vertical expansion equal to two it means I'm taking the y values and timesing them by two. So if I have a y value of one and I multiply one by two, one times two is two. And again, if I have a y value at negative 1 and I multiply that by 2, I get negative 2. Nothing else has changed. I still have my same vertical asymptotes. I still have my same horizontal asymptotes. And then we want to draw the graph. Better seen in the notes, but close to the asymptote, through the point, close to the asymptote. Close to the point, through, right, close to the asymptote, through the point, close to the asymptote. And there are going to be much more curved graphs, as you can see, in the notes. So let's keep our old graph up there and either draw a new graph that we're going to keep and we're going to talk about the last transformation of the notes. So now we're going to do y equals negative 1 over x. And we know that if we put a negative in front of the function, that is a vertical reflection. So if I want to draw that graph with a vertical reflection, I simply draw in my old points. Now, if I have a vertical asymptote and I vertically reflect it, nothing happens. If I have a horizontal asymptote and I vertically reflect it, if it's on the x-axis, nothing happens. Now, if I take this point and I vertically reflect it, well, it has a y value of 1. And I'm simply going to take the y values and multiply them by negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now this point has a y value of negative 1. If I multiply that y value by negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. And then I can draw my graph close to the vertical asymptote, through the point, close to the horizontal asymptote. Close to the point, through the, ho through the point, close to the horizontal asymptote excuse me, close to the vertical asymptote, through the point, close to the horizontal asymptote. So we have our old graph, 1 over x, and it has been vertically reflected to be negative 1 over x. Please take a look at the notes. Keep in mind, if all else fails, we can always graph with a table of values.